abortion pill. The political fallout of those dueling rulings on the abortion pill mifepristone is coming into focus as Democrats vow to fight restrictions. Some, like New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, calling for the FDA to ignore the ruling by Texas federal judge Matthew Kaczmarek that would invalidate the drug's FDA approval. This ruling is in extreme abuse of power. It's something the Secretary of Health and Human Services said was not out of the question. Everything is on the table. The president said that way back when the Dobbs decision came out. A counter ruling by Washington State Federal Judge Thomas Rice blocked the FDA from making any changes to Mifepristone's availability in 17 Democrat-led states and Washington, D.C. that sued to expand access. So it inherently creates what we call a, a, a circuit split, which kind of means it has to go to the Supreme Court. On the heels of the Texas ruling, Iowa's Republican Attorney General has halted a state practice of paying for abortions or emergency contraception for rape victims. Still, some Republicans like South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham are urging the GOP to take a more measured approach. We can win this issue at the ballot box if we show up with reasonable positions. If we have our head in the sand, we're going to lose. In what was largely seen as a referendum on abortion, on Tuesday, Wisconsin voters elected by double digits a liberal candidate to the state Supreme Court, flipping majority control from conservatives, which will likely lead to an end to the state's abortion ban. Cristian Benavides, CBS News.